Hi everyone, I'm Amy from Neurotic Mom Bakes and I am so excited to start this new cake series. I have been thinking about this for a long time, months if not years. Um, I am going to take some of my most popular, most viewed, most viral, most liked cakes of all time, and I've been doing this for a long time, and I am going to do cake videos. So I'm going to start today with one of my all time favorites and one of the internet's most viewed, most liked, most viral videos of all time. I am going to be doing the Cinderella, the blue, white, the ball gown cake, the bibbidi bobbidi boo cake with the glass slipper on top. The first thing I'm going to do is I need to make uh, my chocolate decoration. And I'm sure once you see this chocolate decoration, you'll probably know who I'm talking about. You'll probably get the reference, but it's so fun to see this come together. So I have some blue candy melts and some white candy melts. I've mixed them together because I want to do a light blue. And then I have this really cool shoe mold that I found on Amazon. I'm going to melt these. I want to make sure this stays standing. It's pretty sturdy. I think it is, but I'm just going to... Where did my tape go? Just because I only get one shot at this, we're just going to tape it to the counter because I don't want it to tip over. And we are going to fill this mold. We have a little piece of unmelted chocolate right there. There we go. All right, just while I'm filling it up, I needed that to hold still. Let's untape this because now I gotta kind of get it covering the entire shoe. All right, I'm actually gonna leave the excess in there because I want it nice and sturdy. I'm just gonna wipe that off real quick. This was my absolute favorite princess growing up. Okay, this is gonna show how old I am, but did you know I saw this movie? It, I didn't see it when it originally came out because I'm not that old, but I, they did release it into theaters in, I, I wanna say right around 1980, because I was five years old. And I remember seeing this in the theater and just absolutely loving it. And she's been my favorite princess since. Okay, into the freezer we go. All right, I love this part. This is one of my favorite cake styles. It's called Lambeth uh, piping, but what it really means is just I'm piping a bunch of different rosettes and ruffles, and we're just gonna make this really beautiful, flowing, bluish, uh, light blue, shiny skirt for this dress. So I've got like a darker blue, and kind of a medium shade and a lighter shade. And I don't even have any particular exact design in mind. I'm just gonna just go for it. So I've got my cake here. It's already stacked and crumb coated. It's vanilla with some banana uh, mousse filling inside, kind of like banana pudding. It's so good. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I've got some blue here. I'm gonna start with some rosettes along the bottom. Along the bottom here. I need to grab some toothpicks because for this design, I just wanna make sure everything is evenly spaced out. All right, what should I do next? I think I will do some larger ruffles with this lighter color. So let me do a test run. I always test a little bit. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay. So I think I'm just gonna do like some ropey. The other thing I wanna do is, where did my toothpicks go? Just kind of mark how far down I want these to go. Not very far for these ones. So kind of right in the middle, about an inch and a quarter down. There we go. Does that look pretty even all the way around? Yep, okay. Let's do this. So I'm gonna start at this toothpick and I'm just gonna kind of
I'm gonna also pipe another, some more ropes, but I'm gonna do one on top and one on the bottom, I think. Again, I'm just kind of, just playing around with this. There's no, there's no set design here. We're just, we're just going for it. So I have a little bit of a hand tremor. It's not terrible today, but it definitely can affect my piping, which can be very frustrating. But the thing about buttercream, I always say, you can always, you just can't mess up that much with buttercream. You can always fix stuff. And toothpicks are your friends. Those ruffles, I love those little ruffles. I think they're so pretty, but I'm gonna mark out some, again, like I wanna go right between the rosettes and the bottom of this little loop. I actually need to pull this out here so my elbow can go below. I call it the ruffle tip for ruffles, and you can do them in so many different ways, but I also love them for flowers whether it's daisies or roses. I love this piping tip. Ooh, I love that. I'm trying to decide if I should do another one. I'm going to. So we're gonna do some rosettes, just little small ones. Just right here in between the darker rosettes. Okay, we're almost there. Well, how do I want to finish this off? Well, first I'm, I'm gonna have to do the top a little bit, but let's let's add some more of these. I'm gonna add some shiny pearls and possibly some white pearls. Which do I like better? Oh, I think I like the white for this, definitely. Sets or little star things. I'm just gonna do some kind of randomly all over the cake actually. Just filling in any, any space. There, I think that looks pretty. Okay. All right, this is the fun part. You gotta add some little, some sparkle. I have some glitter that I'm gonna spray on, which is so fun. on first this is this is the fun part okay let's see how that shoe turned out this is always nerve-wracking because if it breaks we got to start all over oh got it all right guys the shoe came out of the mold I'm actually really scared but I'm gonna just put some piping down it's all gonna be covered eventually, but I just need something for the shoe to stick onto. We wanna make sure 
It's centered. Ooh, so scary. Now I'm gonna make it glittery. We're gonna put some uh, glitter on it and powder, but first I wanna get some border on just to make sure everything is anchored down. I think I'll do, so this is the front. I think I'll just do a little wave border. And the scariest part is not knocking the shoe while I do this border. Scary. I think it would be really pretty just to put some, I don't know, just some like some sprinkles. I think let's get the let's get the glitter on here first. So I have this awesome like edible um, spray glitter, and I'm just gonna start spraying. Oh yeah, you can see. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. You can see. I'm kind of trying to keep the front. You can see the pretty sheen that goes on that. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I love it. And the, the thing I love about the spray pump, so I got this from Sweet Tooth Fairy, which you can find at Michael's craft stores. I think they have Michael's nationwide. And if not, you can order them on Amazon. There's also Fancy Sprinkles also has some of these spray bottles because I don't have to touch the shoe and risk breaking it by painting on a glitter, you know? Plus, and if the glitter goes everywhere else, that's more all the better, because it's supposed to be, you know, Cinderella's gown. So I'm gonna, when I'm all done, I'm gonna clean that up right there. There's, you can see kind of some rough edges, but we can melt that off and all easily, and I'll show you how to do that to just kind of smooth it out. Which actually you can, I forgot. I just get a hot knife and just barely. Anyway, you can, I'm just going to spray until I think it's glittery enough and I'm going to probably do some more. I'm either going to put some pearls on the bottom there or pipe some more. I'm not quite sure yet. There we go. I think that's nice and glittery. I'm trying to decide if I want any blue on the side of the cake, which I do, I think. Oh, these roses. It's really pretty. I love it. There's our beautiful Cinderella gown complete with the slipper and everything. Let's put some pearls carefully. Okay, so if you want to kind of these sides, kind of smooth them out, I just heated up this um, knife, this icing knife on my burner back here. Be really careful. And if you just get it nice and hot, it'll just kind of get those rough edges, especially over here. Oh yeah, that worked great. So if you liked this series, go ahead and leave me a comment, like this video, and subscribe to my channel, and feel free to share with your family and friends. I'd love your suggestions, and we will keep this series going. I'll see you next time. Bye.